Hi, Emily. So I've never used the Follow My Health app before, but I have had similar experiences with apps that just refuse to cooperate with me. Um, and it's super frustrating that some of these apps function so poorly when people have to rely on them for basic things like filling prescriptions and scheduling appointments. Um, when it comes to the digital divide, for example, I think it, it would really put people at a disadvantage if their only option were to use an app that were glitchy in any way with such important health information, you know? And it, it kind of reminds me of the healthcare.gov rollout, which was just overwhelmed with management and oversight issues and created all kinds of problems for, for anyone who tried to use it when it first launched. So in the article from the annual editions book, that How Technology is Destroying Jobs by David Rotman, um, this analyst, uh, the MIT professor, Eric Brudenjolfsen, he makes this comment that I think really sums up the digital divide, divide quite well. He says, it's one of the dirty secrets of economics. Technology progress does grow the economy and create wealth, but there is no economic law that says everyone will benefit. Um, I thought that pretty much hit the nail on the head because productivity tends to fluctuate, right? So unemployment numbers increase and decrease as technology influences the market and it kind of forces people to adjust accordingly but because the applications are so unreliable and glitchy it makes access spotty so sometimes only a select few will benefit at all and on top of that people can't get much use out of them because they're not widely utilized by the healthcare institution itself so clue and clue I've never used it but it looks pretty useful um, I like that you can ask questions and take part in a kind of online community for women. And to some women, especially younger women, the subject is still weirdly taboo. And so for me, I think it's just nice to have a place where no one will judge me for my icky period questions. <laughs> and I can openly address a community that is in the same boat anyway, you know? So I may have to check that out. Um, thanks for, for showing me that it exists. <laughs>